Right, it's another fine deer. It looks like they've raided out of here since we've been here. Wasn't that convenient to them? Might as well get to know the locals while we're here waiting for Plymouth. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Well, this is a fine start. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? It's the most wonderful time of the month. Anyway, what's making you so angry? My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Anything you tell us about Iverstead? I mean, I've been there. Seen that, done it, took Polaroids, no big whoop. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. Works for me. So what's this bear problem? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Hang on. How can bears run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Well, on the way up here and up the mountain, I just killed a lot of bears, so here you go. Nice to finally meet someone who can follow simple instructions. Here's your reward, as promised. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Wow, an ox. If you get a chance, kill a few more bears for me, will you? No, you give us a crappy reward. Anyone else need a hand? Who's that? Man, it's really nice round here these days. Noisy plant. Yeah, mate, man. I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Fuck's right with you? Red was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Narfi not to worry. Raida will come back. Right. I wouldn't come back. Raida. Not that. Raida. Shouting like an idiot will not bring her back. Ah, let's have a look. It's a quiet word with a barkeep. Find out what's going on. You there! What a word in your nostril! Now that our ghost has been unmasked, I hope we see more visitors in town than just the occasional pilgrim. Uh, what's the word with Narfi? Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. And you told us she's coming back? I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. Anything dangerous on that small island? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall, but I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raida any good. Nay, bother. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. Yeah, but a quick one. See ya. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Sure up. Right then. Let's go see our law. If he's unlocked the door. Nope. Guess I've just got to hang about and wait. Bit of a faff on, to be honest. So. I don't know, maybe that weird girl washed up on the shore. Let's have a look, just to be sure. And. Stables. 
don't remember this being here last time I was here. All these fishing boats. Alright, let's have a look. Yep, that's wet. And not a fish. Let's keep looking. Wow, this is really clean water. This is amazing. No pollution at all. <laughs> I'm staying in this water. It's nice. Still, we made the effort, right? It's a thought that counts. Hang on. What? What's this? Money! I suppose I should take the rest. Still won't make a portion out of any of that. But I'll take it. Anything in here? Nope. I wasted my time going there. Oh, I'm so glad she washed up there. I'd given up. Given up like the rest of the townspeople. That, that would make me normal. Let's have a word with that Narfi. Narfi, I found your sister's remains. Would he be so happy to know she's dead? Screamy plant. Mine. Fine, disappear. It'll probably be in the house. What's left of it? Boing! Hi there! Oh, Raider, Raider! You live among the clouds now, dear Raider. Wow! He already knows the good news. I found a necklace! Raider! You saw Raider? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Yeah, she's a great listener. It never talks back. That's because she's dead. Oh no! No, no, no! Narfi never got to say goodbye! Now Narfi's all alone! At least Narfi has Raider's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. You're welcome. Ooh, a Deirdre Heart! How did he get one of them? Doesn't matter, it's going in my chest of doing bugger all. Because I'll be doing bugger all with it. Right. Anyone else I can have a natter with while I wait for this clinic to wake up? Jeez, I thought I was a heavy sleeper. Hi there. Have anything interesting to tell me? Anything you can tell us about Ahagothgar? Because I can't think of anything else. The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? Nope. That would be horrible. I wish I could go with you. <sighs> so do I. You seem like fun. Yeah, it, mate. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Don't care. I want to talk to your wife instead. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. True. Sure, I've got to steal all your weight as well. Just because portions. We can't tell her what to do. She's our only child, but am I to throw her to the wolves? Get out of the way, chicken. Taking your eggs. That's for getting in me weird. And if she decides to leave Iverston, what then? No. Right, I haven't talked to you. Might as well meet myself from one. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? You seem unusually chipper. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? It's a very fair point. Bye! Have Will you it stop going on about Winterhold? See, have you got a wizard fetish? Do you want to suck on my plus 69 staff of penetration? Come on, Klimek. 
It's there the afternoon, man. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hearthguard. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. You're talking to someone that was no longer there, pal. Fine, I'll go back in the pub and have a drink. Wait for him to come out. Ah, that was a curry soap. There he is right there. Told you stopping off at the pub was a great idea. Come here, matey. Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? It was easier than expected. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Are you serious? Thousand septums, the yawl of White Run doesn't appear that much to have bandits removed. Thank Thanks you again kindly. for the legwork. You need any other help, any at all, let me know. Seriously, you appear very well. Right. Saw that tiny little island in Gehrman's Hall. We've got to go back to White Run. We will eventually give Kodlak these witch heads. Someone who can get things right. done. I Did like it have to rain all the way up here? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's letter, a lot of gold. Something about it being our inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks Wait, like what? that's it. Got to go. Let's have a look here. Yeah? Look her. In the name of your Layla Lawgiver, it is with great regret that we inform you of Timber White Arm's death. Fair woman! The deceased has bequeathed unto you a measure of inheritance in the amount of 100 gold pieces. Your's court has levied an amount of 10 gold pieces from the sum as a lawfully and honorably due tax. The remainder has been commended unto the care of a trusted courier for deliverance. While all of the Yars Court grieves with you on this day, we rejoice in the knowledge that, that the deceased was in position of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith in one another, and of the Yars' beneficence accorded unto you both. I only knew her for, what, a couple of minutes and she brought us into a will? Wow, I judged her way too harshly. Uh, Lydia. Lydia. Where has that woman gone? Where are you? Not. Don't care. Where's me house called? I've got to go back and look for her. Come on, lady, keep up. Hi, horsey. What is it? I think it's a horse. Can you not tell by the legs and their head and the whole horsey features of it? I mean, come on. The common and him. You should know what these things are. It's not his fault. Nice He's just an idiot. A, a massive, attacks, well, massive idiot. A story. Shut up, you retard. You can't even tell that's a horse. Eesh. Come on, Lydia. Has she left me? Damn it, woman. Look. Just go back home, take me crap with you, set it aside, I'll find out what Codlock wants, okay? Okay? Can you handle that? I'll head back home if you need me. Good girl. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Oh, shut up, pal. Right. She'll take me crap back to the house. Is that fur coming out of your ears? Yes, it is. Jealous? I don't know. I'll just uh, keep her happy. She'll totally not expect it. I've still got a couple of coin handy. Where's that guy that does the improvements on the house? He said if I want something special, I should have a word. 
Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> You're the guy, right? Around here somewhere. Dragon Bar. How's my finest customer? In the mood to spend money. Uh, I'm looking for custom upgrades to the house. Are you now? And what might you be looking for? Um, I was thinking. I'd like to do something nice for their house, be house call, and upgrade our room. Oh, Any chance of that? Well, aren't you the kind heart? We'll fix it up nice and fine for her. Good Is there man. anything else you be needing? Eh, uh, what else can you do? But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, hmm. who said, Oh, That's an idea. I'd like to extend the loft and add a bathroom with a Markov-style tub. I don't know what a Markov-style tub is, but let's have it. You're not really going to make me haul all that stone up that rickety ladder of yours. You're damn right I am. You're a cruel taskmaster, Dragonborn. But you pay well. Sides, I can't blame you for not wanting the crap in a pan next to your bed. Is there anything else you be needing? Actually, while I'm here, I've got a bit of coin. I might, might as well get something for myself. See, a proper fireplace? That you can. I just so happen to have some nice rifting stone lying around from a job I did a while back. It will make a nice proper chimney for you. And I just might have something special to top your mantle. Is there anything else you be needing? No, no, no. Let's not go crazy right now. Get to work. I've got to go and say the companions about something. Have fun. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Oh, she's got to be so happy with the upgrades. Now, let's finish this job for Codlock and give her the good news. Hang on, what's going on here? I ain't done nothing. You're the best. The silver Can you be my hand. father? I'm sure there's laws against that. These two aren't the problem. We got most of them, but I think if you the silver hand, we find oh. the Bastards! Nerve to attack. They finally had the nerve to do something, eh? We got most of them. These two aren't the problem anymore. Yeah, I'd say that. Check the surrounding area, make sure nobody else is hurt. Make sure nobody else needs looting. No other ones, just archery targets. Be dead. Where have you been? Took me in and helped me. Uh, well, Codlock needed a job doing. Then I had to see a friend about a horn who isn't really a friend. Then I had to go see the Greybeards. Then I had to sit, tell Klimic I dropped his deliveries off, and APS better than you lot, by the way. And then I had to buy a few upgrades for the house to keep Lydia happy. Anyway, what happened? Did I miss something? One of the fiercest battles I've ever seen. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. That explains we the corpses. We fought them off. But... The old man, Kotlak, he's dead. Anyone else hurt? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of Yorvaskar will be sung. We will avenge Kotlak, and they will know terror before the end. What the crap? I've just tripped over a corpse. A lot of corpse and... <laughs> Damn it. That will be really disrespectful to load them. Damn it!
All right, let's go get some vengeance. Make them bleed. Don't leave any of them alive. Oh, I don't intend to. Come on then, Vilgus. Let's go kill us some silver hand. <laughs> <laughs> 